Okay, hi everybody. Um, prove that this sequence converges using the convergence game, which just means the, the precise definition of convergence. For all D, there exists a capital N such that N, if we go past capital N, then the X sub N are, well, we'll see. Okay, so first, um, this is a sequence. It's a map from the natural numbers to the complex numbers. It's just picking out infinitely many complex numbers. That's what a sequence does. And so I'm going to just say let x sub n be equal to i over 2 uh, raised to the nth power, because that's the formula. OK, so this is just a different way to write a sequence. Um, and well, let me just see what this uh, sequence looks like. So here's the unit circle. Here's the real axis, the imaginary axis. Here's 1. Here's minus 1. Here's i. And so i over 2 is right there. It's like 0 plus 1 half i. Okay. And so what's going to happen if we raise this, if we square it? So first, x1 is just i over 2. Raise it to the first power. x2, what's that? Well, it's going to be i over 2 squared. So the i is going to rotate 90 degrees, and the divide by 2 will become a divide by 4. So we're going to get minus 1 fourth. It's like here. There's minus a half, here's minus a fourth. Um, x3 is going to be raising to the third power. So i to the third is a minus i, because we go i, i squared, i to the third. And then we have a divide by 8. So there's a half, there's a fourth, now we're here. And x to the, to the fourth is actually going to be positive 1 16th, and it's going to keep going. So half, fourth, eighth. So actually what's happening is it's sort of spiraling in. And this spiral is going towards the point 0 plus 0i, which is just called 0 as a complex number. OK? And so that's where we're guessing. Um, and so let's try to prove this. So the theorem is that x sub n converges to 0. Proof. We need to help our reader remember what does this even mean. Recall, dear reader of my proof, poor reader who's going to have to try to understand all the symbols that I write down. Uh, recall, dear reader, x to the n arrow 0 means, what does it mean? For any desired closeness, the x sub n's will be, oops, the limit is 0, and they will be with, they will be d close. For any desired closeness, well, they're not all going to be d close, but there's a some cutoff index such that if we go past the cutoff index, then the x sub n, little n, will be within d of the limit, which is 0. OK. And I, sh I better say, like, d should be a positive number, because that's sort of a distance. That's what we're meaning. And capital N should be an index. Um, it's just saying, how far out do we need to go before this is true? And so capital N will depend on D. You know, we'll have to go farther if, if they challenged us with a really small D. Um, and if we, go pa if we go past that cutoff, it will imply that we're within that distance. OK. So no matter what D is chosen, we need to show that we can produce some n. We need to show that some appropriate capital N can be produced. Well, it can be produced so that if we go past capital N, we're within D. So that. This holds. Okay. So now, in other words, let me switch colors. 
this is our goal. Well, really, this is our goal. Okay? Um, if we go past some cutoff, we're within there. And so in particular, we should calculate using our goal. So let's calculate x sub n minus 0 less than d. That's what we want. Well, that's true if and only if. Just what is x sub n? Let's just put, put in the definition. i over 2 to the n. Copy the rest. This is true if and only Well, minus 0 doesn't do anything. So let's just see where this goes. And this is if and only if. Um, and now we can do this. Right, because z to the n absolute value is actually equal to the absolute value of z raised to the n. Right, this is a real number, and this is a real number, and they happen to be equal. Um, and you can prove that, actually. For example, you can prove it in the case, in that case, too. Okay, so... Um, oops, I forgot the less than d. Now, what's the absolute value of i over 2? It's just this distance right here, okay? And that's, that's just 1 half. In other words, the i just sort of goes away, and we just get 1 half to the n. Okay. But now we can use our previous problem. Okay, so I'm going to call these calculations, I'm going to give them a name, star, by a previous problem, we know. So we're going to use something. We know that this sequence, 1 half to the n, converges to 0. Why? Because, and I think I even have it over here, for any real number between 0 and 1, like, like 1 half is a real number between 0 and 1, the sequence, 1 half to the n, converges to 0. Um, we proved that in previous videos, okay? And so we're going to use that now. What does that mean? What does this, this thing mean? It means that, that means there does exist. There does exist some capital N such that going past capital N implies that this distance well, namely, 1 half to the n minus 0 is less than d. Okay, but 1 half is just, you know, um, this statement here is true if and only if 1 half um, to the n is less than d. Because 1 half is positive, and yeah. And, but, that's ex but then by star, that's exactly what we have here. By star, we just go back up using these if and only ifs to our original statement that we wanted. By star, we see that going past that n, this capital N actually came, we know it exists from this previous problem that we showed, so we can use it. We see that going past that capital N, which we know exists by our previous problem, um, that implies that our original thing is less than d, uh, so we're done. So we're done. x to the n converges to 0. So, and we knew it was. We knew, well, it, it, it was intuitive if we calculated a few of these that, that we were sort of going to spiral in and in and in and in. Of course, we weren't actually spiraling. We were just sort of discreetly spiraling here, 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 here. here. Um, but but you know, it was the intuition is that we're spiraling. Okay, can you do this yourself? Blank sheet of paper. See if you can prove this without looking. Make sure you remember and, and specifically tell your, your reader what symbols mean um, using the precise definition, which really is what they mean by the convergence game. Okay.